Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper. I'm still in La Paz, Bolivia, and I apologize in advance if I sound winded, but I'm sitting at 12,500 feet on an outcropping here in La Paz, Bolivia, and today's field trip is to test my portable or mobile solar power Arden node, and I'm gonna adjust the camera to show you actually how high I'm, I'm up and where I'm sitting here. It's probably a thousand foot drop all the way around this perimeter here. Out there at the end, I'm not sure if you can see it, is the Arden node, which is a nano station M2, 2.4 gig radio, tied to a brick with a plastic bag because I left all my tool bags back at the house before I got up here. And downtown there is where our house is. And over this way is actually the main city of La Paz. Up there is what they call El Alto. I think that sits at about 13,000 feet. That's where the airport is. So I should have a pretty decent line of sight shot from here down to the house. And with the magic of editing, I'll actually put an arrow in during the editing process. So I have the radio up front, got about 25 feet of Cat5 cable coming to a portable battery into a local weatherproof box that has a charge controller, wireless access point, passive PoE injector, and a 12 volt to 24 volt step up power supply to provide the power over ethernet out to the node. And next to that is a portable solar panel which is going into a Morningstar charge controller. And again, during editing, I'll show you a picture of the inside of the box because I forgot my screwdriver. Now, unfortunately, I haven't been able to find another ham radio operator here in La Paz, so I actually can't test this. So what I'm gonna do is use my iPhone. I have an app on my iPhone called Linphone, and that's a voice over internet protocol application. I'm gonna access this node through the access point in the box. And again, I'll show you that access point during the editing process. And I'm gonna call my VoIP phone back at the house, which is connected to my Raspberry Pi running Raspberry dash asterisk or free PBX software. And I'll at least hear my voicemail come back to me because there's nobody home to answer. And if there was, there's no licensed ham radio operator to actually pick up the call. So I'm gonna unlock my phone here. I'll try to show you how this is gonna work here. I gotta connect to the access point in the box. All right, everybody, sorry about that edit. What I failed to remember was to push the button on the side of the white box, there's a little red button here, that actually turns on the access point inside the box so my cell phone could not connect. So now my cell phone, you probably can't see that very well, I'll grab a screenshot, is running Lin phone. I'm registered to the Raspberry Pi back at the house. And I'm going to place a call down to the house phone. Of course, I'm not there to answer, so my voicemail is going to pick up. Now, even though I'm line of sight here down to the house, my antenna at the house is actually not pointed right at us because I wasn't sure where I was going to be able to access these ridge lines here. So you might hear some chop in the audio because I'm not 100% line of sight. Um, I'm probably off by about 45 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and dial my number or my extension at the house. I'm gonna hit the call button. Turn the speaker on, and now it's ringing. K1 DOS, Arden node one. Please leave your message after the tone. When done, hang up or press the pound key. Testing one, two, three, three, two, one. All right, so that's my test call from a cell phone that I have the cell phone service disabled. No, I don't have it disabled. But if I had no cell phone service and I had an Arden set up during an emergency or if you're a prepper, I think you can get an idea of the application of this technology. If you can set up line of sight between different locations and you have a ham radio license, of course, you can set up these Arden nodes and have your own telephone system 
using mobile devices with the Lin Phone app, and I'll insert some screenshots of that, or using regular VoIP phones connected to a switch, all powered by a Raspberry Pi, running free PBX, or sometimes called Raspberry dash asterisk or RAS PBX, and it's a regular telephone switch with voicemail and all the features that come along with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the camera from my cameraman here, my neighbor who is helping me. I'll give you a quick pan so you can see around here. Again, we're pretty high up and I really hate heights, which is probably why I joined the Air Force. Uh, behind me is what they call the devil's molar. Uh, a year ago, I flew my drone around that. If you follow the channel, I think I still have that video up. And there was a lot of ridge line possibilities, but getting access to them safely was kind of a challenge here today. So this is why we wound up at this point. Again, to give you an idea how far up we are, one misstep and it's all over. So there's my video doing a field test of an Arden node. If I was going to be here a little bit longer, I'm heading back home in a few months. I probably would try to find a site up here, make arrangements, permanently put this on a pipe. And this would be my focal point if there was more time and, of course, other ham radio operators in the area to actually experiment with. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the comms prepper doing a field test of a solar-powered portable Arden node and uh, working on my fear of heights here. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's time for lunch. All right, it's pretty windy. It's a little additional video here. This is actually the town where we came up to. I'm not gonna embarrass myself by trying to pronounce that, but this is definitely way up high, above 12,000 feet. And I'm just gonna pan around so you can see downtown again. And we just returned from walking up that side of that ridge line there to get the shot towards the house. Time for lunch. Thanks for watching, everybody.